We have the trailer and the lift. Well, the main problem with it is that none of the lights work, right? Right. Right. So we're going to fix all the lights um, because we're going to use it tomorrow because we're going to the scrapyard. We're going to the scrapyard tomorrow and we're going to use the trailer. So we just want to make sure the lights are working. And um, so we have my trailer tester plugged in. And um, what? that's why I have a cord on it. So you hold this over. Alright. Alright, so, so powered on right now. So yeah. And these are all the different switches for the different lights. So we have directionals, right? Yeah. So okay. it's working. That's, That's working. Good. And then this is what it's is this? running lights. That one's out. And that's the issue. That might be an issue. And then try the brakes. Bottom right. Brakes work, so. Alright, so turn the running lights on again and let's just check all of them. Yeah, running lights are on. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think I found the issue. There's a wire not connected over here. Oh, really? Yeah. Right here. That might be an issue. This is a ground, do you think? What if I just stuff that to a ground? Try yeah. it now? Nope. Bricks. Try not. I don't think it's the bulb. I think it's the wiring issue. Yeah. Okay, this, this is out, too. On the other side, that oh. ain't working. So maybe, yeah. Oh, that might be an issue. What? That's bent. That's actually meant to be like that. Really? So yeah, they bend them on purpose. Um, the opposite way of the load. It's it's well, it's kind of hard to explain, but imagine this trailer is way overloaded. Like, say you put ten thousand pounds on the trailer. Which way is that axle going to bend? Right, so they bend it up to compensate for that, so that when it is loaded, it's going to be straight. Okay. So that's... Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, dude, I think I might find an issue. Oh. <laughs> it's all corroded and oh, busted through. Looks like we're just going to have to cut it and splice it. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to. So the first thing we found was... Uh, there's a little bit of a green spot right there. And that is um, a green wire. And so the green, do you know what green is? I'm talking hmm? No. Green ground. Nope. No, that's, that doesn't a lot of black to trailers. So the ground on trailers is white. Mm -hmm. And black is, or there's no black, there's tan. Yeah, there's no black. So how it goes is the yellow is left turn. Mm -hmm. The green is right turn, and the brown is running lights, and the white is ground. You know how you remember it? Mm -hmm. So the yellow wire... Running lights low. No, yellow is left turn. When you're, when you're driving down the road, what's on your left side? The yellow stripe, oh. the yellow stripe in the road. When you, when you're, what's on your right side? Green grass. So, green is right turn. That's how you remember it. But on this trailer, it's actually wired differently. So each side of the trailer, oh wait, never mind, it's not. So there's no yeah. wires, so, okay, so we have three wires coming back. Oh, dude, look at that crap, it's like chafing. This all needs to be redone, oh which my. that'll be like a next winter project, we'll rewire this trailer. All but that, all now, the wire junk, but now, yeah, we'll just get it, look at this crap. <laughs> it's all just hacked together. Jeez. Unfortunately, that's kind of how they come from the factory. They don't wire these great, they just make them really cheap. Whatever works, man. So we've got a green and a brown, so green's right turn, so it's going over here to this side, but that side's working. We have um, two wires coming straight back. Yellow works. And then we have a brown and a yellow wire. And the only thing that doesn't work is the brown wire, right? Because that's... Try and pull those butt connectors apart. Are they solid? These? Yeah. Oh, Not at all. <laughs> that might be an issue. Alright, that just pulled right out. So I guarantee that's, guess what? That goes to that. Oh, you know so what? So that wire that just pulled out really easily, I think that might go to that LED. Also, I guarantee you that ground's bad too. Right. So we'll just... Lower a little bit so I can actually see some fix stuff. Yeah, you can lower it. <laughs> So what, 
So, if there's a butt connector and it connects these two, mm -hmm. this one was in here and this one was sitting right there. So I'm thinking oh. maybe it pulled out of it. So that black wire, where does that black wire go? That bla oh, oh, that black wire goes to the LED. Which it would explain why it doesn't work because yeah. it's missing so this. So these are, this is a running light. Yeah, so it's missing back. its running light. The and then this works. also goes to this running light, which goes over here to this light. Yes. So we need to pull this. We'll cut. Splice it. Yeah. Um, yeah, cut it right at the end of the buck connector. All right. Okay, I'll get the strippers. Yeah. All right. And we'll pull this mess apart. See if we can at least get it temporarily working for now. Yeah. Hopefully. This all needs to get pulled apart right here. That is such a mess. Automatic white strippers. All right, and these. All we'll right. Put this crap out of here. It's what solid. The hell is we'll this? leave it in there. Is it just like an extension to the wires? Apparently. So all these four wires can be joined together. All right, that one's good. All right, so I have these two strips that I need. I'm gonna strip this one black one a little more, just because it's not. Yeah, you, more yeah, I can definitely go a little more. Right. So I grab it. There we go. Get this one. Uh, all right. So now, basically, these two go together. Like as they were in the butt connector, and then these ones would go together, but this one got pulled out. So basically, it was like this. So it's basically all that really is is just a splice. It's yeah, all the running all, all the running light wires are being spliced connect. together. So we'll get a butt connector. See what we can do. Butt connector should be solder. Solder. Okay. That'll be more better. Oh yeah. Connection. Big time. Right. Just kind of shove that in the wires. Oh, that's a crust. Yeah, it's kind of crusty. You don't say. How we go? No more. Yeah, the wires are all corroded. That's not helping at all. Where's it going now? had to take a while to get out. Almost too long. Here, can I unclip it? Just give it a sec. Oh, yeah. On the wire. Maybe. Like on the bare wire. Oh. Now slide that. You shrink over there. And then you'll shrink it down and it'll ooze it out. Oh. <laughs> or push it out when you push it over. Where's that? Uh, you just need a syringe with a really small needle and just stick it in there and just fill it up. I need to get a walkie heat gun too. Side. 
of it's turns. Kind of right turn. Brake lights. Brakes. So on a trailer, if the if the brake lights work, the turn signals are gonna work. Okay. And same thing, all the, the way around. If yeah. The turn signals work. And if they don't, then it's an issue with the truck. Like it, like if your brake lights work on your trailer, but the turn signals don't, it's an issue with the truck. Because it uses the same wire. You know what I mean? Like that, you know that um, yellow wire that's coming back to this one, left turn. So it's that's for the brakes and the turn signal. Because all the all the turn signal is, is just pulse of the brake light. So, so sweet. That ground is actually good. We're gonna have to deal with that. Change this camera. Be very. Oh, it's actually just that one spot. Really. Peel all that crap back. Oh my god, there we go. Was oh, it pretty clean under there? Uh, yeah, it's clean wire already. Should like. There you go. There. Pull a little bit off on both sides. Alright, just strip the end and see what it is. Pretty good. It's actually not terrible, it's a little crusty. But there's some clean copper there. Not like we're gonna have to add in a little jumper section. <laughs> some freaking alligator clips. <laughs> Ow. So grab um I just trailer wire. You got trailer wire? Oh like Yeah, like that. Pretty good. See how when the wire's not hot, it doesn't want to stick? Yeah. There we go. Got a good coating. Yo, oh, it's so cool. All right, that should be good. Yeah. All right. I'll hold it. Okay, this. Oh, I'll just. All right, so that's probably dry now, right? Yeah. Okay, get that off. Just hold that tip in the same spot. The wire's not hot enough yet. Yeah. So just hold it steady and then just add solder just at the tip so it'll transfer the heat better. Oh, no you got some unsteady hands today. <sighs> say that. You can say that again. Because it's not your tip's not actually touching the wire. There you go. Now oh, almost. Oh my god. You all you finally got hot enough, and then you just pulled away. Yeah, the, the solder literally just dropped on my arm, bro. Alright, Well, I mean that's probably. There we go. 
It'll probably at least make a connection. I don't know how long it's going to last, but... Alright, whatever. We have what we have. Alright, that'll work. Whether it holds or not, it doesn't really matter. Not for this trailer. It's getting redone anyway. Yeah. It's just temporary. Is grease or no? Yeah, may as well. They still work. Be hilarious. Whoa, why is it so, so much brighter? Oh, it's just the way I was looking at it. Yeah. Oh, I don't think this worked before either. No, it didn't. That little license plate light, not that it has one, but. Sweet. The flasher usually works in the thing, but it's not. Do you know why it doesn't work? Why? Because they're LEDs, so they draw so little. It does. It doesn't draw enough heat or enough current to make enough heat to flash the flasher. So the flasher doesn't work. So what if they were not the light bulbs? Then it would. Yeah, nice. Well, it works. So. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm trying to think if we can make this a little better, so I'll just make do that again. I mean, jeez, let's just let it hang. Who cares? I mean, it's why why spend so much time on it now? We could at least put something there, I guess. When we're gonna do it again next year. Yeah, let's just put something there. A staple, maybe. Yeah. Or anything. It's just super cheap design. Maybe. Alright, so I just like ran a self tapping screw up into there and zip tied it up. So. The quality of this matches the quality of the rest of the wiring, so I'm not concerned. <laughs> I mean, like, literally, though, look at this. Of course, this. that's chafing on that hole in the frame. Looks like they just plasma cut that. It just, but just blew a hole through it. Ran the wires through it. That's so stupid. Looks like it was plasma cut. Looks like they accidentally made one here. Like, oh, it's too far over. Oh, my just God. Blast another one. No, but look at this. Who welds a nut to the bottom of a trailer just to hold wires? It's such a cheap design. And then there's two more right here. And then there's our repair over here. If you're gonna be cheap, might as well just so, pull and let the rest hang. Yeah, at least everything's working again. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm guessing that repair is gonna last longer than the rest of the wires. And then we'll just redo everything next year and make it actually bulletproof like it should be from the factory. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.